Hey YouTube, uh, just the first time buying extreme bullets, uh, so I'm going to do some testing on them to see uh, from a sample how well their, their plating is, the weight uh, for a sample of 5, and also the diameter. These are supposed to be 40 caliber, 165 grain, round nose, flat points. First, I'm going to weigh these five bullets and see what the general weight is for each one. So, how close they are? 165.3 and 165.1 all right so now I'm just gonna crunch one in a vise and then we'll measure the plating by peeling it off Go. That should be enough. So let's see if I can get a good shot of this. There's their plating on their lead right there. I'm going to measure real quick. I've already measured the the diameter of these, uh, all five test samples have come out to be 0 .401. Finally got a little so piece to... uh, peeled off and it looks like the actual plating is about six thousandths of an inch, is, which is what they are claiming. Uh, the, I had to squeeze the bullet twice in order just to get a little piece off so as you can see that the copper is very well bonded in the plating to the lead uh, the lead is not really a soft core lead it looks like it's a fairly hardcore lead um, and when uh, doing a standard little right test it acts like it's a hard lead um, I did not. I do not have a lead hardness tester, so this is based off of my experience working with normal lead bullets that I use in my setup with the different die presses. Uh, right now, my bench is a mess, but I uh, just got these in the mail today. Uh, I have no affiliations with Extreme Bullets, so I will get back to you on an update to see how well these bullets work. I currently have been using Proofmark. For a lot of my plated bullets, um, I wasn't too impressed with it. the the actual copper would peel off um, very easily. It was a very soft core lead. Uh, this time for defensive, I'm using Hornady XTPs. Uh, for the 45s, I've been using Spear soft leaded that have a graphite coating on bullet. Them. So this one looks like, and they are probably the best price. I got 500 of them. For this particular one for $50 so I think this is a good value that we can uh, for shooters who shoot a lot um, and I will get back to you uh, after I load some rounds up with these and try them at the range